So, you want to use potions, for example a strength potion or harming potion? Well, blaze powder or fermented spider eyes will not get you far in real life. But some potions from Minecraft can be made in real life. But the question is, how? Willy Wildfire. Everybody knows the game Minecraft, right? Well, after playing a lot of Minecraft the past days, I noticed something. Minecraft is a strange game. Exploding green sticks, monster things, zombies and even wearing diamond as armor. But the most strange thing is the potions. But are some potions possible? The ones in Minecraft at least. Alright, let's start with a fun question. Now, what potion would you choose? This healing potion? Or this water breathing potion? Go ahead, choose one. I will wait. Alright, if you chose the water breathing potion, then you're most likely dead. That's because they use a pufferfish in this potion, and they can be deadly. So the ingredients used in Minecraft's potions are not always the right ones. First, how do potions in Minecraft work? Well, you guzzle down the potion, it has an overtime effect or an instant effect. Like overtime, like strength, or instant, like the healing one. So, after some research, I found a couple of potions in the Minecraft universe that can be made in our world and have the same effects as in the game. Well, at least some sort of. First up, the strength potion. This recipe I found was used long ago. The Vikings, which ruled the seas from 789 to the year of 1100, used such potions. Their warriors, which were called berserkers, would drink some kind of beer combined with hallucinogenic mushrooms to bring themselves into some sort of trance. Actually more of a drug trip. This mushroom they used is called the Fly Amanita. Those are the red with white spotted mushrooms from all those fairy tales. They are toxic in huge amounts. For example, if you gave a dog around three mushrooms, then it could be fatal for the dog. But if you take them in small doses, then they will act like hallucinogenics. Once they were in this trance, they could no longer feel pain and had increased strength. Some people even said that they could not be killed in this trance. If a berserker lost his entire arm, he would shrug it off and fight on without him caring. He would feel the pain after the battle when the mushroom weared off. So this combination could act like some sort of strength potion. And a powerful one too. So it would make more sense to use the red and white mushrooms in the strength potion recipe. Good luck Notch! But this isn't the only potion which we could use. You remember the swiftness potion, right? The one that gives you insane speed? Well, there's a real life version of that too. And most of you already know what it is. It's the drug called speed. Speed causes your body to make more adrenaline and go into an aware state. The so-called fight or flight response. The flight or fight response is an instinctive reaction. It's normally a reaction to stress or a life or death situation. You'll be able to run faster and longer thanks to the adrenaline and fight or flight response. There are an estimated of 700,000 speed users in the USA. And speed also has its downside. Speed is highly addictive and causes a lot of sleepless nights. So don't? But what about seeing more in the dark? Well, then eat carrots, because it's a way to see more in the dark. Because of this fact, they probably chose the carrot in the recipe for the night vision potion. But no potion option in real life, sadly enough. So, you lost your fingertip or have a cut somewhere. Well, you don't need a potion, because we can already regenerate body parts and heal wounds. Your kidney can even grow back from a quarter of its original size. And that finger you lost? Don't worry, it will just grow back. And I'm not joking, the bone, the skin, the nail, everything will grow back and work like it used to. This happened to a man in the year of 1932, when his fingertip got amputated because of an infection. One month later, he got his fingertip back, no surgery whatsoever. And what about the poison potions and harming potions? Well, well of course, we've got poisons in this world. And the one that fits the Minecraft version the most is the poison of this little fella. This is a tarantula. This spider can be found in America, Africa and Asia. Most of these spiders are harmless and their bite feels like a bee sting. But some of them are very poisonous and that poison hurts a lot. These spiders bite thousands of people every year and most people fear them because of their huge size and hairy body. These spiders and their poison are the most accurate one compared to those in Minecraft. And if poison doesn't float your boat or work for you or whatever, you can always resort to harming potions. Just put some hydrochloric acid in a bottle and throw it at your enemy. Your enemy will have gigantic burn wounds coughed in his flesh for life and it hurts a lot, believe me. And the most amazing thing is that you already have this stuff in your body right now. 
Don't worry, you're not going to die. It's only a small amount and the acid is only in your stomach. It helps digesting your food. So, you won't die. This acid burns your skin, it hurts to breathe in and overall pretty deadly. So it would be perfect for a harming potion. And so you see that some of the Minecraft potions are possible in real life, but not always the way the game shows us. And there are many more potions possible, like sleeping potions or fire potions to burn stuff, but those potions are not available in Minecraft. Not yet, at least. Thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to check out my channel, there are a lot of more theories and other videos I make. I have a Mario theory, I have a Zelda theory, you can always check it out. But don't make these potions at home or use them or whatsoever, it can be very dangerous.